Hi Earth Signs, it is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. This is the B Weekly series for the Earth Signs for, let's see, Capricorn, <laughs> Taurus, and Virgo. Um, I was going to do uh, separate videos for each of these B Weeklies, but as I am looking at my schedule, um, it is best for me to get these out and put them all in the same video, but I will put timestamps on the video so you can uh, forward to your particular sign. Now this can be for rising sign, sun sign, and moon sign. Um, I intended last time for it just to be for sun sign. However, it was noticed that it applied to moon sign and rising signs as well. So that is what my intention is for this particular reading. I am going to be doing this just a little bit differently as well. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to incorporate um, instead of just the Oracle and the Angel cards, I'm going to incorporate um, the Rider White back in. And basically what it's going to be is it's going to be what the energies are for from the about the 6th, because this is the day I'm recording it is on the 6th, until about the 20th. And it's going to be for energies that surround you. What are those energies, um, you know, what are those energies manifesting as, uh, as you can see them? And how does it affect you? And then I'm going to pull um, a Crystal Ally card for spiritual advice. And then I'm going to pull uh, a Crystal Ally card for a potential challenge. And then I'm going to pull a um, daily guidance from the angels. So thank you so much for listening to that. If any of you would like a reading from me, a personal reading from me for purchase, you can go to www.psychicsoundsbybee.com, click on the scheduling tab, and... Um, schedule a reading there. All of the in instructions are on there. I also encourage you to read terms and conditions as well. Um, please make sure that when you do contact me, you've already uh, paid for your personal reading because if you have not paid for a personal reading, I will not schedule you. Okay, so I just want to make sure that everybody's aware of how um, those particular rules with my business work. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, let's get started. Uh, let's get started with Cappies. Hi, Cappies. How are you? Let's go ahead and take a look at what uh, the energies are surrounding you for the next couple weeks. So energies surrounding Cappies for the next couple weeks. Energies surrounding Cappies for the next couple weeks. Okay, here are the energies that surround you. Um, what exactly are they? Like what, in what way, um, you know, are they affecting you? Okay, here's what they are, and how do they affect you personally? How do they affect you personally? How do they affect you personally? Is this it? Okay, this is how they affect you. Okay, and now we are going to get to your spiritual advice. Spiritual advice, Cappies. Spiritual advice on how to handle these energies. Spiritual advice. What is your spiritual challenge? Spirit. Oh, it's already out. Spiritual challenge. And what do we have for your archangel? Or not archangel guidance? Angel guidance. Daily angel guidance, but you can use it for the next couple weeks, okay? They're sticking together. So some of you uh, cappies out there, the fact that I've got cards like literally sticking together, there may be some of you out there that are really kind of like a wolf pack right now. It's like you've kind of, you have a certain set of friends that you are sticking together. I mean, like you are literally... Um, supporting one another you are giving each other you know um, how do I want to put it you're defending them when um, if and when someone comes up and chastises them okay so you're you're sticking together it's like a wolf pack okay so just be aware of that if, if one gets attacked the entire wolf pack comes out and attack you know so that might be uh, what's going on for some of you out there cappies all right is this only one? Okay, here's your guidance, Cappies. 
All right, guys, let's go ahead and let's take a look. What are the energies surrounding you right now? Okay, Cappies, uh, what's going on for you right now is there is something potentially in your life that you have put a lot of emotional investment in and you are deciding to walk away from it. This is more than likely something that you have decided to walk away from, okay? This could be a marriage. This could be a business partnership. This could be a friendship. This could be a project that you are just looking at it and saying, you know what, I put all this effort into it and I am seeing that it is a loss because either somebody or someone is trying to manipulate the situation and I have decided that it is best for me not to put any more of my energy into it because every time I put energy into it, it will take energy away from me. So what I'm hearing specifically for some of the cappies out there is that you need to guard your energy because there are you know, potential like vampires out there that are trying to get energy from you. So please be aware that this could be happening for you within the next um, couple weeks, okay? So let's go ahead and let's see exactly what this is. Is it work? Is it romance? Is it, you know, what is it? It gives us a little bit more of a drill down on exactly what it is you're dealing with, Cappies. King of Cups. Okay, Cappies, this is um, energy that is around you of putting emotional um, investment into something and having to walk away from it but the reason why this is happening is because you had emotions within you that were just tumultuous. I mean, it was just like a, a swirling eddy of almost of like despair. I mean, you were just like this. But on the outside, you were cool as a cucumber. Nobody would have ever known that you had any type of inner turmoil going on at all. Now remember, I had prior videos in January and February where you guys were undergoing some type of a transition. You realized something that maybe you invested in something that you shouldn't have invested in. It could have been friendships. It could have been uh, partnerships at work. It could have been, you know, in romantic relationships. You realized you put some effort in that. And then all of a sudden some truth came out and then you got a little bit PO'd about it. And basically what's happened is now you know this energy around you has you stone cold on the outside and really tumultuous emotional energy on the inside so I am definitely sensing that I'm sorry Cappies this is in every single area of your life this could be work this could be finance this could be emotional life and love life this could be uh, friendships it is mostly emotional life and love life and friendships you know, this is interesting um, I, you, if you guys watched my um, my monthly videos for February, I mentioned um, you know my dad, you know working had blood coming down his fingers, whatever. You can go watch that video. But as I'm going through this like like this, I was doing some stuff in my kitchen and I was I was really really quick, and I've got blood on my fingers. It, it's just really interesting how your energy is kind of coming in, and I'm recognizing how did that happen. You know what I mean? Because I was like so focused. So that might be what's going on with you. You're, it's like you're so focused on achieving a goal. It's like you're bleeding. And, and that will make sense to some of you, maybe about 15 to 20% of you. But I just want you to be aware that that is the type of energy that, that seems to be surrounding you at the present time. So please be careful um, that the energy that you are investing is not taking your life force from you is what I want to say okay so just be aware of that so how does all this affect you personally okay uh, people around you right now are looking at you like you're very stoic on the outside nobody would ever know that you have anything going on as far as a tumultuous type of emotion on the inside some people don't even know that you're ready to walk away from them okay so how does this affect you what is it that you're going through right now and where is your mindset in this particular case oh my cappies whoa I'm getting a download hold on a second cappies 
what is actually happening here is that the reason you're walking away from a situation and the reason why you're tumultuous on the inside but remaining with a cool exterior, you know something somebody else doesn't. You have the secrets and you are not revealing them. And I'm getting a big hit on this. Some of you could be psychic because this is a psychic card. This is also Piscean. Okay, so there's something secret or psychic or hidden about a Piscean. Okay, so please be aware of that. There may be somebody in your life that is psychic or um, or something about them that is hidden or something about them that you have a secret on them. Their name could start with B or J. Okay, B or J. Okay, so their name could start with those letters. And sometimes the letters will come out as a message and sometimes they won't. Um, they have come out in the past, but it's, it's infrequent. But if they say, you know, B, get those and <laughs> my, my name starts with a B. So, you know, I, who knows how this is going to be applying to some of you out there. But this is the card of secrets, psychic ability. This is the card of magnetism. This is the card of, for some of you Cappies out there, um, you are magnetically drawn to someone through a psychic connection. Okay? It's like, it's like there's just something that is so strong you can't control it they can't control it it's it's like it's like two peas in a pod okay so this may be how this is working out for you and the reason why I say two peas in a pod we've got these pomegranates and how they've got their little pods in seeds of pomegranates so um, that is what I'm getting from this type of energy so you know how does this energy affect you in a nutshell is that you've been given psychic downloads, intuitive downloads to move away from a situation that no longer serves you to understand that you are going through a personal transformation on the inside. It's an emotional transformation. It's something that is very difficult for you to control but you are maintaining your decorum on the outside. And how it affects you is through a Pisces, a psychic, uh, psychic abilities, secrets that are hidden uh, about a Pisces or generally I mean it could be about really anyone but I'm sensing Pisces Cancer Scorpio because you've literally you've got two cup cards and you've got the um, you know the uh, high priestess here so your dreams could also be uh, very significant your dreams could be affecting you it's like you get up in the morning and your dreams are so vivid that you're like oh my gosh I need to do this or I need to do that okay and I am trying to make these videos shorter so Okay, we need to keep going. What is your spiritual advice, Cappies, for this couple uh, next couple weeks? Your spiritual advice is fire. For some of you Cappies out there, this emotional energy that you're going through, you need to make sure that you're giving it a release. Make sure that you're working out. Make sure that you are um, you're getting rid of that extra um, tumultuous feeling. You've got to dispel it. For some of you, you may want to consider. Um, like you know here's the fire <laughs> and meditating near like a fireplace and imagining and envisioning all of those toxic energies from within you literally being dumped into a fireplace and and the ashes like going you know seeing those bad energies fall to ashes and then have the smoke take them up into the universe to be transmutated so this may be something that you uh, want to consider for others of you if there is a natural place where you can discharge. For example, if you live in a volcanic area, go and, and just walk in those volcanic parks or whatever they are. Be around heat, okay? This is what I'm hearing. Be around heat. Get the heat with your body up and be around heat. So what happens is those negative energies that are attaching themselves to you, they get disintegrated naturally and holistically. But you have to envision them being disintegrated and being lifted up into the universe to be transmutated into something positive. Or simply just lift them up and give them to God. Give them to you know, Buddha. Give them to universe and say, I cannot handle these emotional energies, you know, 
you know, let them fall to ashes. Let them come up in the smoke. You take them because I cannot handle this right now. I have obligations and I have responsibilities and I don't have time to be dwelling on this emotional turmoil. Okay, so what do we have for your spiritual challenge? Prayer. Um, this is interesting. Pisces have been getting prayer as their spiritual challenge as well for the last past two readings. So I will tell you uh, basically what I've told Pisces. Um, you are in a position right now, Capricorn, some of you, um, you've been praying for things to turn around in your life. You've been praying. You've been like, why? Why is this happening to me? Why is this happening to people I love? Why can't I get a handle on this? You know, this is this emotional turmoil that you're going through. Why do I have to walk away from the situation that I put so much effort into? Why? The reason why is because you're, you've been intuitively been given guidance to tell you, you know, the cover is not necessarily, the cover of the book is not necessarily the content in the book. So it's like, don't judge a book by its cover, okay? Whether that cover is, you know, laden with gold and bright, shiny things and valuable artifacts, what's inside you must be very, very careful of. And I think what has happened is some of you Capricorns have realized that, you know, all that glitters is not gold, okay? And what you've done is, you know, you've prayed for these things to come into your life. You've prayed to God. You've prayed to Buddha. You've prayed to, you know, highest creator. And you're you're seeing something completely different than what you're praying for, and you're you're literally you're literally saying, "I'm not going to pray anymore because what's the point? I don't get what I want. Nothing is manifesting. Um, why does anybody pray?" And it's like you're you're damning universe. You're damning God. You're damning you know high creator. You don't listen to me. You don't listen to my needs, and my desires, and my wants. Yes, Capricorn, they do. They are listening to your needs, your desires, and your wants. And what they're doing is they are giving you intuitive downloads to walk away from situations that no longer serve you because they're killing you. And they are causing you to be absolutely out of control inside of you. And you are having to put a show on the outside of you to pretend that nothing is wrong when in fact there is something desperately wrong. And this is the way universe is coming in and saying, Release that which no longer serves you into the light. Transmutate it into something positive. Walk away from those that are, are causing absolute emotional turmoil. And the prayer that you need to be praying for is for your strength. Okay? Your strength and your life force. Um, don't pray necessarily. You know, normally everybody says, you know, pray for what you want. Intend for what you want. This particular message for you, Cappies, in the next two weeks is praying for your strength. Praying for, I am about to make a decision to walk away from something. Please protect me in this decision. Please protect me in the light. And please make it so that everyone is served to their highest good. Okay. So what is your angel guidance, Cappies? life purpose and life purpose says this the purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and to others don't worry about finding your purpose instead focus upon serving a purpose and then your purpose will serve you what is your purpose in life cabbies Embrace that purpose. Embrace that core knowing of who you are. Stop, and this is what I'm hearing, stop living a life that does not reflect your inner core being on the inside. You have discrepancy between your inner workings and your outer workings and what you reveal to the outside world. It is going to be very difficult for the for a cappy to say who cares what anybody thinks because cappies like for their lives to be very stable 
and very, um, I don't want to say status quo, but conventional, okay? They, they don't like to rock the boat. But there's something inside of you, Cappy, that's rocking the boat. And you either embrace it or you're going to have to let it go, okay? And what I'm sensing for most of you is that you need to embrace it. And um, this person that is in your life, or this may be your own abilities to see secrets and that which is hidden, but this person, their name is B or J, or you know they're they're mysterious, they're they're uh, they're magnetic, um, they they're helping you with this potentially. Okay, so just be aware of that. Okay, Cappies, there is your reading for the next couple weeks. Again, I wanted to make them short, but it looks like they're going to be running probably about 20 minutes. So I hope that you enjoyed this. Take care of yourselves, and I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. And I will have the uh, March videos um, up probably between the 20th and the 25th of uh, February. All right. Take care of yourselves, Cappies. Namaste. Hi Taurus, how are you? How are my bulls doing? Welcome to your B Weekly uh, for the time frame from the 6th to about the 20th of this uh, upcoming couple weeks. So um, if you watch the intro, I am going to be doing this a little bit differently, so let me know what you think. Um, get this back in here. Okay. Sorry, those fell out and I didn't want to keep them. <laughs> All right. So what have we got going on, uh, Taurus? What are the energies surrounding you? What type of energies surround you? What type of energies surround you for the next couple weeks, Taurus? Energies surrounding you for the next couple weeks. Here's your energies. What are these energies in relation to? What are these energies in relation to? What are these energies in relation to? This one? Okay, there's that one. What or how do these energies affect you, Taurus? How do these energies affect you? How do these energies affect you? Taurus, how do these energies affect you? How do these energies affect you, Taurus? The bowls. This is how they affect you. What is your spiritual uh, advice, Taurus? Spiritual advice. Here's your spiritual advice. And this one wants to come out for your spiritual challenge already. They were both kind of poking out there. Okay, so what is your angelic uh, message, your, your angel message? Angel message for the next couple weeks, Taurus. Angel message. Taurus is you're throwing something away. Um, and you're incessant about it. There's something that you're throwing out of your life. There's something that you want to get rid of. There's something that's coming up here that it's either an energy that you want to get rid of or it's um, it's actually a person you want to get rid of, like out of your life. Okay. So please be aware. Of, and and you're, just, you're just frustrated. What I'm getting from a lot of Tauruses is, is you're just like, you're sick of it. You're, um, you're like, just get her done already. Okay, you're, you're either it's either at work or or it's you know, and Tauruses normally are very diligent, they're very um easygoing, they kind of plod along, they do things slowly, but there is some type of energy around you where it's like this energy that is not making sense to you, it's not practical, and you are just like, This is this is this is out of control, get out. That's what I'm hearing. So please just be aware that that is um, what's coming up. Okay, here is your angel message, uh, Taurus. Okay, and I dropped a couple here. All right. So uh, what are the energies uh, surrounding you? Like what is swirling? Okay, the energies and 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 to put this all into perspective of the types of energies that you're dealing with. Wow, Taurus. Um, you've got the wish card so um, you are celebrating you are probably drinking a little bit too much um, 
you are uh, very smug about something, uh, there is some type of an accomplishment that you achieved and you were very smug about it, you are very much like, I'm in charge and nobody else is going to question my authority. <laughs> so please just be aware of that. But please remember, um, there's no one else around you either. Okay, so you may be so smug that you are kind of pushing people away from you. Okay, so that may be how this energy is working out for some of you. For others of you, I'm just hearing you guys are drinking too much wine, you're drinking too much alcohol, um, it, it's getting to a point where, it, this is what I'm seeing, you invite some friends over, and say it's just two or three friends or whatever, and you guys like pass out, you know, after having, you know, movie night or whatever, and you get up the next morning and you see that you've got ten bottles of wine that are empty on your counter. There's only three of you. Okay, so please just be aware that some of you are just partaking in too much drink. You're not able to make the right decisions. Okay, so in some of you, I've just heard that you are, you have literally made the wrong decisions. Okay, I, I don't, and this is not for all of you. Remember, this is a general reading. For some of you, you your wish has been granted and you are flying high. You're smug about it. You're celebrating. You're going, oh yeah, it's me. I walked in the building. I'm in charge. Okay, celebrate me. Okay, that could be for some of you. For others of you, um, you're drinking way too much, you've made some really bad decisions, and um, what's happening now is you're trying to figure out what you need to get rid of out of your life, okay? Because you're realizing that you're, some of you are going through the cycle again, some of you didn't learn the lesson from, um, from Saturn switching signs, and so it's almost like you're gonna hit a repeat, okay? So please beware that the, it's like the planets are aligning, it's like this. <clears throat> Say, for example, you work for a Fortune 500 company or you own a Fortune 500 company, whatever, but you still have somebody to answer to. You either answer to your customers or you answer to your boss. So you go through the year or whatever, and then you get a new boss coming in, and they're going through everybody's files. And those files show who's pulling the weight and who's not pulling the weight. Okay? That's what the planets are doing. The planets are literally aligning right now, and they're having a conference. They're having like a boardroom conference. They're having like, um, you know, a committee and they're getting together and they're saying, okay, we're ready to flip the switch. Which Taurus are you? Are you smug? Have you made the right decisions? Are you going to repeat the cycle? Or have you broken the cycle and now you're victorious? So please be aware that this energy is surrounding you. Okay, so what specifically does this have to, um, what specifically is this energy? In what area of your life does this energy exist? And um, how is it manifesting itself? You have the moon, Taurus. The moon is all about intuition. It is all about illusion. It is all about psychic abilities. It is all about um, hidden matters. Taurus, you think you've got one up on somebody. However, be aware, Taurus, that something's not stirring the Kool-Aid here. You have potentially a Pisces, a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Gemini in your life um, that is either, and and I'm going to be honest with you, and I, I said this with Leos too, It's you're, they're either psychic or they're psychotic, okay? So, so please be aware, uh, Taurus, that this is coming through for you loud and clear. Um, Leos got this in their February videos. So um, please be aware that this energy is around you. Um, You guys did something that was not was not cool. In fact, it was cruel. It was downright cruel. And this is for probably about five to seven percent of you <clears throat> is what they're telling me. So um, 
five to seven percent of the Torians out there are not working from their highest self or you know of a Taurus that is not working from their highest self um, you are smug you are or they are smug um, you know thinking that they can do whatever they want I will tell you right now Taurus if you are one of these Taurians what's coming right now what universe is planning for you is unlike anything you've ever known because if you've been a Taurus that has been through some problems and has been through some issues and has had to work through some really big um, transitions in your life that were that that were horrible for you to go through if you haven't learned your lesson you ain't seen nothing yet okay so please be aware of that some of you could be partying with a Pisces Cancer Scorpio or Gemini could be and you're partying at night you're going out at night you're having a good time okay that could be what's going on for some of you Torians out there but there the energy that is surrounding you with these particular people is either psychic or psychotic and for those of you uh, that are working from your highest self it's likely they're very they love to go out and have a good time and they, they're very intuitive or they're psychic and they are blessing you with their gifts um, for others of you if these are not the people that are surrounding you and you're kind of getting sucked into the darkness again of partying like drinking um, sex drugs rock and roll that types of that type of thing like going out kind of doing just whatever you want to do I'm telling you right now be careful okay so how does this energy affect you Taurus the chariot this is exactly what I was picking up initially some of you had a wish granted some of you had just surrounded by friends thinking that this friend is the is the bomb.com and they get you connections and everything but as you get more and more into this friendship you're seeing wait a minute I'm falling into the same patterns that I fell into before um, I'm catching this person in a lie uh, whatever um, you may be the, the uh, person that is footing the bill for all of these parties and you're kinda like wait a minute what's going on here okay and you're seeing that there is deception there is lies and what are you doing Taurus you're kicking them to the curb you're like I'm done I'm over it I'm literally gonna trample right over you because that's what the chariot does the chariot keeps going okay you are positioned and ready you are waiting your your steeds so to speak they are they are in their comfort zone they're resting prior to the gate opening up and the battle to commence you are prepared you've got your armor you're shiny you have information some of you uh, Tauruses have information right now and you might have information about this deception or this illusion or this psychotic type of action okay you've got some type of information and you are in your chariot and you say when those doors open I will literally trample over anyone that gets in my way period you will not take away from me what I have worked so hard for Taurus be careful birds of a feather flock together you do not want to be associated with nefarious energies I am definitely hearing drugs for some of you drugs and alcohol rock cocaine whatever it is um, Some of you, when you were drunk or, or when um, you were high on something with this, these friends, which I wouldn't call them friends, but, you know, whatever, you actually howled at the moon, okay? Some of you may be going to howl at the moon, okay? There is a, there's a bar, I believe, in like San Antonio, Texas, that's howl at the moon, and um, you might be going to howl at the moon. <laughs> 
fun bar. Been there. Been there, done that many times. <laughs> but um, but yes. So please be aware of that. And and again, uh, some of you uh, listening to see maybe in the military as well. Because when you see the chariot and you see the chariot's armor and they're part of the battle, you know, battles and, and armed forces, this is what I get out of this. Uh, this act, this person that you could be that could be leading your life is a cancer because the chariot card is cancer. Okay. For some of you out there, you are battling cancer. Okay, and the reason why I say that, yeah, they're saying yes. And I'm really sorry that this you know is coming up for some of you out there um, because you're you're trying to there was a lot of hidden things it, it remained hidden for a very long time and that cancer may be because you drank too much so it might be like a liver a liver cirrhosis or or something like that or um, alcoholic liver or, or something like that that you are now um, you are now having to reap that for whatever reason or somebody that you love is having to reap that remember these energies could be happening to you or they could be happening around you alright so please just be aware of that but overall you were successful a wish was granted you went into an environment that was full of deception lies illusion or you were successful, a wish was granted, and you brought people to you that have high intuition and psychic ability. And if it's to the positive, you are victorious. You are literally trampling. I mean, with this person by your side, you are trampling over anyone that gets in your way. And you are not doing it nefariously. You are doing it because you are now armed with information so that you can make appropriate decisions for the good of yourself and the good of others. But for those of you that were successful, had a wish granted, you are now in the throes of illusion, deception, and manipulation, drugs, uh, alcoholism. And you realize that you went back into the you went back into the vat of of death, basically. You are now strapping on your armor and you are saying, wait a minute, I realize I'm about to repeat the same cycle. I got to get out of here. And you're literally, you're, you're literally cutting people out of your life. Okay, so just be aware of that. All right. Okay, so what do we have for your spiritual advice, Taurus? Nurture. How beautiful. Nurture yourself, Taurus. If any of you are undergoing um, any physical maladies or um, you are trying to recover from alcoholism, that could be what's happening for some of you. Nurture yourself. Replace that addiction with another addiction. And I know a lot of people say, you know, you know, don't don't do that. But the thing about it is, Taurus, would you rather be a workout addict or an alcoholic addict? Okay, so or a work addict. I mean, this is this is what's happening. It's, it's almost like you have to make a decision, okay, is what I'm hearing. You need to make a decision. Do I go back into deception, lies, and deceit? Or do I nurture myself, put up my boundaries, you know, trample over those nefarious energies that are trying to drag me down and, you know, alcoholism, drugs, whatever it is, and go and say, you know what, I can't go out with you tonight. And then you hit the gym and you make yourself a really good meal. You get some really good sleep and you wake up the next morning full of vim and vigor. Okay? Nurture yourself, Taurus. That's your spiritual advice. And nurture your family. Nurture your friends. I mean, if your friends are beside you and they are loving you and they're not trying to manipulate or, or coerce you, you know, the ones that are coming in that have intuition, the ones that are coming in that have psychic abilities, insight, that are going to be with you no matter what, that said that, you know, I've got your back. Those, and they let you make your own decisions. They don't, like, coerce you. Nurture those relationships, Taurus. Those that are trying to manipulate you and get stuff out of you and make you pay for the parties and stuff like that, be aware that there's far more 
nefarious things like if you go into it it's going to expand and get worse and worse and worse and pretty much you'll hit by the time Saturn changes signs you're gonna hit because you because you guys have um, Saturn in your eighth house of intimacy and joint finances okay so this is where you share with people. This is where you share intimacy with people. If you do not learn your lesson now, you're going to drag those people in with you after 2017 and they're not going to leave. So if you have been thinking about cutting people out of your life and saying, I got to get rid of these nefarious energies, go Taurus, go. Don't look back. Bless them. Say goodbye. I wish you the best. And start moving on a more higher level path. Okay. For some of you, you're getting roped into... Um, a weird church organization that is very controlling and they're asking for more and more money from you and it's almost like you're being you're being um you're being brainwashed okay so please be aware of that taurus i just want you to be aware of that so what do you have for your spiritual challenge taurus dreams this is what's happening taurus your wish was granted your challenge is your dream this was a dream you had, wish was granted. But when that wish was granted, it was bittersweet. You didn't realize the other types of energies that were going to come along with it. And you had no idea that they were going to bring you into the swirling eddy of despair and, and um, ill control. Like It's like you guys can't control yourself. You're really trying hard to control yourself and control the energies around you. But you can't. You can only control yourself from the perspective of ensuring that you put the walls up so that others can't influence you so it's like you guys have to make a decision on what energies you want around you and what energies you don't because this dream this wish that was granted this dream that was granted to you is now your challenge and it's your challenge because it is potentially surrounded in deception illusion lies, deceit, alcoholism, drugs, and you know it, potentially. And again, if, if, if this isn't happening to some of you, then it's happening around you, okay? So just be aware that, you know, 20% of this reading will apply to you and the other part won't, but that message is specific for about 3 to 5% of you out there. So please just be aware that you've, you've got that kind of swirling around you, okay? So what do we have for your angel advice for the next couple weeks? Go for it, Taurus. Go for it. Go for it. Your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on this situation since its genesis and we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. If you are deciding to leave a situation, they're watching over you to leave this deception behind. They are watching over you. They are saying we are behind you 100%. 100%. Okay, you're trying to better yourself, Taurus. You're trying to make the right decisions for your dream, for your wish that was granted. You're trying to make the best decision you can. Okay, you're trying to surround yourself with positive people. Go for it. You're being protected. Nefarious energies do not have a chance against you, Taurus. You already know. You intuitively, for those of you that feel like you're being deceived, whether you're being, you feel like you're being controlled or mind controlled or mind manipulated by a church group, by, um, and I'm, I'm sorry, most church groups are amazing and they're wonderful entities, but some are not so good, okay? Um, so just be aware of that. But if you feel like you're being controlled by a social group or controlled by a church or controlled by something, you intuitively know something is off. And you may have uncovered this deception while there were drugs and um, alcohol involved. And this is why you are deciding to leave the situation. Go for it, leave. 
okay? For others of you that are surrounded by um, your wish being granted and you're surrounded by the wolf pack, people love you. They, they, you know, they're there for you. Uh, potentially, again, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, very psychic, very intuitive. Um, even a Gemini, very psychic, very intuitive. They support you. They're not manipulating you. They're not coercing you in any way. Um, they're making your, your life better. And by making your life better, you are victorious. You are trampling negative, nefarious energies. Go for it. Okay? So there's two different Tauruses I'm talking to here. All right? Okay, Tauruses, there is your reading for... Um, for the next couple weeks. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know if you like this particular format. Um, I'm going to change them up regardless of, of what you say. <laughs> and I, I say that with much respect to you, uh, Bulls. But I, I do like knowing whether or not this particular format helps you um, so that I can set my intentions appropriately. All right. I'll talk to you um, between February 20th and 25th at the uh, March monthly videos and terascopes. Take care of yourself, Taurus. I wish you the best. Much luck, much light, and many blessings to you. Namaste. Hi Virgos, it is B. Welcome to my channel, Psychic Sounds by B. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's go ahead and let's get started with your uh, B weeklies. So it will be from the time frame of the 6th. I'm recording this on the 6th up until the 20th. All right, I'm going to do the format a little bit differently. I hope that you listen to the intro. If you did not, that's perfectly fine. I will describe it as I go. All right. Okay, Virgos, what are the energies um, that you're dealing with at the present time? What types of energies are out there? What's going on around you? What is the message, the general message for you? Whoops. Sorry, guys. Oh, this is the one. Okay, here's your general energies. What is the energy? So what is it that you're dealing with? In what type of focus category are you dealing with this energy? And remember, stories could come out with this as well. Okay, there's your what it is, what that focus is. So how does it affect you, Virgo? How does this energy affect you? This is how it affects you. So what is your spiritual advice, Virgo? What's your spiritual advice? Spiritual advice? What's your spiritual challenge, Virgo? Spiritual challenge. This one wants to come out. Okay. And what is your angel message, Virgos? Angel message. Angel message for Virgos for the 6th to the 20th. Angel message for Virgos, 6th to the 20th. 6th to the 20th of February. Angel message. Okay, Virgos, let's see what we got going on. All right. What are the energies, the general energies surrounding you at the present time, Virgos? Wow, Virgos, you've got the Three of Cups. There is celebration. There is joy. Some of you finished a contract. Some of you just signed a large contract. Um, you are celebrating with family. You're celebrating with friends. Um, you are potentially being invited to a, um, a, a wedding, a christening, a um, a baby shower, uh, in each, any place where you celebrate with friends, you're, you're having a really good time. Virgos, the other thing about this you want to watch out for is make sure that you're not overindulging in the drink. Make sure that you're not doing um, too, much, um, too much drinking where you get um, your, your faculties don't fire on all cylinders, so to speak. 
whether you are a man or a woman, you are celebrating with women. So that could be, I just got another message and that message came through last February, uh, for the February videos, and I stopped it. And it is now telling me that it's time to speak about this. Virgos, as it relates to your sexual life, as it relates to things that you do behind closed doors, I don't think that I have to mention anything more that we've got three people here. And there could be drugs and there could be alcohol involved with this. Swapping, sharing. If you don't, um, that is enough. That's enough for the message. If you, um, if you are not the Virgo that is uh, embarking on this type of activity, then you know somebody who is. All right. So I just want to make you aware that this energy is around you. And I don't think I have to go much farther than that. Um, but for others of you, um, it is one of celebration. It is one of love. It is one of companionship. It is celebration after a very difficult time in your life or celebration after you know, finding who your friend group is, finding out who you can trust and who you can't trust. Okay, these are the types of energies that are swirling around you, but we'll see. Okay, because I got that other message. So we'll see what else is happening here. But overall, you're celebrating with family. You're celebrating with, um, with your girlfriends, whether you're male or female. All right. So what does this energy entail? What's around it? The nine of pentacles. The energy around this is the fact that you have been you have accomplished something very near and dear to your heart. You could have gone out after you got a big deal, after you scored a big deal and you've got a big bonus or whatever it is and you're out there partying and um, this is for those of you that are celebrating in a sexual manner and you decide to bring everybody back to your house and have a good time okay that's for some of you for others of you this celebration is because of accomplishment in your business accomplishment with your finances accomplishment with a great test score you are celebrating because you aced it you got a 4.0 and you're like yeah baby i'm valedictorian or yeah baby this is what i have done i've worked so hard over this time i'm i'm I am so happy that when I graduate, I've got a 4.0 on my, on my degree. That could be high school. That could be college that, or undergrad. That could be grad, okay? That could be, you know, anything that you've got going on. You have got high marks, and this is why you're celebrating. So this is really beautiful. For others of you out there, you're just celebrating with your family right now. You're, you're actually, it's almost like you guys are having a late Christmas or a late Thanksgiving or something like that. You decided that you, you didn't want to um, have a gathering during Christmas for whatever reason because other stuff was going on. But now what you're doing is you're celebrating Christmas. You're celebrating, you know, a new home. Some of you actually got a new home. Some of you moved home. And you moved home and you're having a housewarming. So that is really, really beautiful, Virgo. But, um, but as it relates to uh, having like a different holiday, this is what some of you um, are doing. And um, you basically are, are uh, communicating with your family saying, okay, we're gonna celebrate Christmas in February or in March. And you know what, we're getting together and we're gonna have wine and be merry, okay? And open presents and all of that. So that's really awesome, Virgo. So how does this energy affect you, Virgo? Temperance. When we have temperance as how energy affects you, as I said earlier, do not overindulge. Do not get into something 
that is going to cause a problem for you in the future. And we will see what your challenge cards and your spiritual advice cards are. But I did get that weird sexual hit. Okay, so, so please be aware of this. Don't get yourself into something that has you thinking, wait a minute, something's not right about this. Okay, so, so just be aware that that's happening here. Okay, um, for some of you, you may actually be um, okay. For some of you, you may actually uh, be in a situation where you have discovered that your the person that you're seeing is also seeing somebody else. This person might be your best friend. Okay. So this is what I want to tell you, Virgos, out there, um, that you must shed light on the situation. This is for the male Virgos. There is a woman in your life that's playing you and your best friend against, each, against you. She comes over to your house when she can't get a hold of him. She goes to you. She gets sex from you. And then when she can get a hold of him and have sex with him, she has sex with him. She's having sex with both of you. And it's always at your house or their house. And I am sorry, male Virgos out there, if you are doing this or you know Virgos that are doing this, I was told to tell you, disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Because this, um, this supposed woman here, um, and, and you may know about it, you may know about it, or you may have had an inkling about it. You may have been getting messages from universe about the situation, and um, you know it may be you, your friend, and it there may be some ex that she had a long time ago, and she's addicted to sex. Is what's happening? She's addicted to it. And she usually comes over to your place after she's been drinking or you invite her over after you've been drinking. I mean, really, that's, that's very common. But um, that is definitely what's coming up here. All right. So let's see what your spiritual advice is, Virgo. Sorry. Transformation. So Virgos, you are undergoing a transformation. Temperance is a sort of transformation. Um... Because you are starting to get awarenesses and intuitive hits on what's going on around you. You are becoming more intuitively aware of your business and you are able to seal the deal on some of these business dealings and you are able to increase your finances or increase, you know, you may be able to seal the deal on your financial life and um, you're increasing your, your bank account. And it's, it's giving you temperance, it's giving you calm, because you have a contingency plan. Your savings is going up. You're, you're able to really understand what this is like through this transformation that you've, you've been through. Okay, so, so just be aware that now that you're giving yourself more value and you're putting up your boundaries, you are transforming your life. Okay, that's for all the Virgos out there that, that you know, that whole weird sexual thing it does not apply to you. But with this other thing, some of you are transforming from the inside out and it is affecting you positively. So keep going, but be balanced. Be balanced, Virgo. All right. So what do we have going on for your potential challenge, Virgo? Balance. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> balance so Virgo I must say um, for some of you um, unfortunately uh, if you are married and you are cheating on your spouse this will uh, potentially be revealed um, through his or her lawyer um, and it will help their case 
Alternatively, if you know that you've been getting cheated on, this will help your case, but it is a challenge. It's bittersweet is what it is, okay? So your challenge is balance. Your challenge is not to get too greedy. Your challenge is to make sure you drink two glasses of wine and then a glass of water. That's your challenge, okay? Your challenge is to find balance in what it is that you need to focus on. Because I'm sensing for some of you out there, you're so, um, you're so high on happiness and accomplishment that you kind of think that you can do, just do anything, which you can, Virgo, you really can. But you have to bring it back down into balance, which is very important. There is a challenge as it relates to justice, as it relates to life force, as it relates to uh, legal matters. So for some of you, this is going to be a challenge for you. There's something to do with law, legal matters, could be a contract, could be um, getting arrested, somebody you know getting arrested, um, somebody getting caught doing something, potentially doing drugs. Um, underage drinking is another thing here. DUI is another one. Um, there is something going on here with the legal system for some of you and, the, and court cases for some of you. But for the majority of you, this balance is something that you need to achieve and it's, it's a challenge for you to achieve it because it's like you have so many options and um, you're having a hard time finding the balance. You're having a hard time figuring out what's what. All right? But believe me, it will be revealed. It will be revealed. Okay, so what is your angel message? Entrepreneur Virgo, awesome. We've got, oh, I just love this for you. Self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your coworkers and teammates who remain loyally by your side to ensure your success in all ways. Virgo, this is awesome. You are celebrating a win. You are accomplished. You are finding the balance. You are mixing that dis those two disparate energies that um, are allowing you to create a synthesis of sorts. For, the, for those of you that this applies to, if you're thinking about starting your own business, if you're thinking about um, breaking off from somebody else, go for it entrepreneurship it's where you're at just remember the balance remember to balance everything out because you've got a lot of options balance everything out you are undergoing a massive transformation Virgo massive transformation I absolutely love this reading for you absolutely love it love it now remember for a very small percentage of you there was that caveat that weird sexual energy weird stuff going on okay so watch yourself Virgo protect yourself I mean like protect yourself wrap it up okay um, but for some of you this transformation this celebration this drinking this going out with friends this being comfortable with your finances and your and your you know your bank account and everything you are undergoing a major transformation and you are starting your own business and you are going to be successful so in the next two weeks if that's something that you've planned Virgo you're on it and even this uh, balance card with this legal you could be signing contracts for partnerships so be aware of that too Virgo be aware of that too you might be starting an LLC you might be starting a sole proprietorship you might be starting um, you know a, a C Corp or something like that so or an S Corp or whatever so just be aware that you are gonna have legal dealings in the next couple weeks but it looks like as long as you get that balance figured out and keep your eye on that prize you're gonna win good job Virgo 
All right, guys, there is your B weeklies for the next two weeks from the 6th until the 20th. I wish you much light, much love, and many blessings. And um, I will have the March videos up between the um, between February 20th and about February 25th, okay? Hopefully. <laughs> Let me know what you think of this format. Take care of yourselves, Virgos. I wish you the best. Namaste.